Hello guys, this is Sajid. Welcome to my channel Artisans Web. Today we are going to see how to build PHP login system for your website. For instance, here you can see my login form. It contains two fields like email address, password and submit button. And this is my database. It contains the table users with the two entries. The first one record with status 1 and another one with status 0. Now our goal is log the user in to our system with the status 1 and the correct email and password. If the user status is 0 then we will throw the error like uh, your account is not activated yet. So let's see it one by one. This is my config.php file where I have written the connection code for my database. This is my index.php file. On this file I have included my config.php file and this is my myaccount.php file. This is the file where the user should redirect after the successful login. Now this is my HTML code. I am using bootstrap framework here, email address, password. To my email, uh, my name is email and to the password, I put the input name password. This is the submit button. Now on the click of submit button here, on the click of submit button, I need to write a code. So first line is extract dollar underscore post then on the next line I am checking whether the email and password is empty. If it is not empty then only we proceed further. Next one is we write the query select query based on the where condition of email and password. Here I am using md5 to convert the my password to encrypt my password because in our database we stored the database in the md5 format now i real escape string to avoid any kind of sql injection next one is we are executing query if these details are correct means uh, by passing details we get the result we get the at least one row and if we get the result then we go further else we throw the error message like incorrect email or password that means this there is no record existing database with the pass email and password and if the record is found we are again checking status whether status is one if the status is one then only we are redirecting user to myaccount.php if the status is not one then we are throwing error message like your account is not active yet and these error messages we are displaying here here and to log the user in we are using session we set this session id and here you can see I use this session start. Now let's see one by one. I enter some wrong details. It's showing me incorrect email or password because there is no record exists with the that wrong details. Now I pass the details, correct details but which status is not active yet sam test.com and his password here you can see its status is 0 I click on submit your account is not active yet now I enter the details with the status 1 now it should redirect to my account.php here we go my account.php now on the index.php we have written this code. We are checking whether the session ID is set or not. If it is set then we immediately redirecting to myaccount.php. 
This is because once the user is logged in, they should not get to login page again because they are already logged in. There is no point to send them in login.php again here. Yeah. It's redirecting to logout page. Now we are here. So here we are checking whether session is set. Session ID is set. If it is set, then welcome user and this one is the logout link. Else we are redirecting to login page uh, because without login user should not access my account.php file. We will see it in next step. Uh, and now I click on logout. Here you can see I pass the action logout. If I redirect logout, my URL should be uh, my account.php and parameter is action equal to logout. And here we are checking whether the action is logout. If the action is logout, then we set means we destroy that session ID. Now I click on logout. It redirecting to login.php. Now if I try to access my account.php, it should not get access here. They are redirecting to login.php again, index.php because of this else condition. So it's all about login system using PHP. So I hope you understand the tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching video. Have a nice day.